Warning, viewer discretion is advised for younger viewers. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. So in this episode, we will be adding our own sound to this car. So I, I will not be lying to you. Last night, um, I did stay up to get this done. So, and I got it, in my opinion, I got it pretty close. And I'm very, very happy and proud of myself of doing that. So, let me just quickly play you a clip where I based the sound off of, and then I'll let you listen to how the car sounds. Um, but I will be teaching you and showing you how to make your own car sounds and where to get them from. Well, you can go off the internet and get it. I'm just going to make it easier on myself because once you do it from the internet and from YouTube as a dyno pool, um, then you have to filter the sound a lot. Um, because there's might be some distance background sounds in that video clip with, that you got off of YouTube. I just personally went on to BeamNG Drive and found the engine that technically is also in the Demon and just recorded that sound. I'm so sorry if you can hear the dogs barking outside. I, I literally... I've been sitting here for about an hour and nothing happened. And as soon as I start recording, they have to bark. Amazing. That's my neighbor's dogs. <laughs> um, it's very, very warm in my room. So I had to just open the door. Any case. So let me show you the clip that I um, found on YouTube where I'm basing off of how the car should sound. So I just want to say thank you for cars.com on YouTube um, for this clip because, so this is how that sounds. So that's a clip I used, but you heard that in the beginning, the wind noise as well. So that's one thing you need to take into consideration when you go and you take a video of this or a recording of this for the engine sound. Uh, you're going to have to filter out all of those noises for that extremely nice sound, you know, for that, that, that original engine sound. So that's how the engine is supposed to sound. So this is my take on how it sounds with how I've edited through the whole process. Um, don't worry, it, it doesn't take too long. It shouldn't take too long. It didn't take me well, to understand the program because it is a new program. Trust me, it took me about two hours last night. But otherwise, it's fairly simple. So this is how the car actually sounds. So it, it has a bit of a rumble to it. Once you drive, so yeah, let's jump into it and let me show you how I got mine. So, the app that you're gonna have to go and download is Audacity. Audacity, there you go. But, okay, you're going to need to go download that. So what you do is you just go into Audacity. There it is. You just say download. It downloads it to any of the files. You save it and you install it. I already installed it. It is very straightforward. It does not take a lot of time. So I'm just going to cancel that and close this out. Okay, so once you have that, 
Now I'm going to go and load a beam in G because that's the application I'm going to be application. I say it like it's an app. It's not. It's a game. It's a very, very realistic and very fun to play game. So you just launch it and I'll see you once I'm by the car. Okay. Um, so the more mods you have, the more accurate of a represent representation you can get to the engine sound. So the 2018 Dodge uh, Charger SRT Demon comes in, I think, a few variants. So you get the 6.2 liter, 6.5 liter, 6.7 liter, and I believe you get a 7 liter. Don't quote me on that, though. So the closest I got was with this one, manual, the Barstone. Barstion. Uh, replace current. So you're going to hear it's extremely much more louder. So. Um, we want to put it into realistic mode. Because you now technically, you're technically going to do a dyno test within this game. So technically they usually do it in fourth or fifth. But seeing as this game, third is your best, I'm talking about gears now. Uh, in third, your best acceleration is your third gear for acceleration and speed. So that's what we're gonna do. But we first wanna make sure there's no supercharger, no turbocharger in this. Because your A chassis comes with its own set of sounds when it comes to a supercharger or turbocharger. So, you want to make sure this is NA, this is stock, naturally aspirated, I don't want that on. Okay, so now we put it in first, and we just drive, just slowly, shift at 3000 RPM, drive it faster, until you hit 3000 RPM in the floor. Just that run alone, that's that. Exit. Because we now have the five or 6.5 liter V8 engine sound. Okay. So if you recorded it, now you want to go into your editing software, whatever you have. I've got shortcut, uh, shortcut, sorry, not shortcut. Um, shortcut as my editing software. This is what I edit with all my videos and everything. So what you're now going to do is you're going to say open file and you're going to the video that you just recorded and open it and you can see yesterday I was testing a lot of things trying to find out how to get this done properly. So now you're going to edit the short segment you have. So let me just quickly find uh, where I went and customized car and where I took it for a drive okay yeah so I think it's there so I um, I don't know if you guys would be able to get this application but now it's just editing okay because you now want to get the smallest segment that you can for that engine sound to to convert it into an mp3 just there that's it and now this file that you have now you just export it as an mp3 that's that so i usually have to go there advanced make sure it says mp3 at 60 frames per second and then we say export file and then I just name it and I say save. And then it exports. But now that you have that saved as an MP3, no, we don't want to make any changes. Now we go ahead and open Audacity. Okay. 
So this is um, where we're going to get all the magic done, if you want to say like that. So now, after you have gotten your um, sound, wherever you've gotten it from, and you've managed to export it or uh, convert it into MP3, now you just open it. So I'm going to import audio. So you can see here the 6.5 liter V8 sound. That's what we want to import. So there is my import. Uh, okay, so to zoom in and out, it's hold left control and mouse, but uh, just scroll back. If you want to scroll from side to side within this, I, I guess this is a frame or something, hold left shift and scroll up or down. That's also going to move it. So what we want to do is, so that is that. Okay, so you're gonna try and find the highest note. So basically, here. Yeah, so we wanna take this. So now you just take a sample. This is now me just. So now we wanna say loop it. Okay, you can also make it a bit smaller if you want. The smaller it is, the better sound quality you're going to get, basically. So now that we have highlighted this, now we say Control-C for copy. After you copied it, you close it down <laughs> completely. Now Control-V to paste that one section. See? And it seems to have broken everything. Great. Any case, so now that you have that, oh, here we go. There. So there we go. I'm still learning this program, as you can see. <laughs> as you can see. Okay, now we want to control V again for another one. I don't know what I just did. Control V. So now we've got two of the same tracks. Make sure you click on the third track. Third. The second one, I'm sorry. My mind's running around with me today. So make sure you're clicking on the... You have the second track selected. You go to Effects. You go down to Special. And you say Reverse. So now you're going to hear it goes up. On the first track, it goes up, and the second one, it goes down. So this is how it sounds. And hey, you've now made a looping track. But now what you want to do is now you want to highlight everything from the... No. Okay. I say control all. Ah, okay. So control A clicks or selects both of them. But now you want to join them. So now what you say is control A to select them both and control J to join them. See, now they're one full unit. See? Well, there you go. What we do now is, now it's still a bit rough, let's say like that. So we go to effects, we go to EQ and filters, and we get the filter curve EQ, okay? So as you can see, I already did this last night, but what you will get is something like this, where it's all going to be in a solid straight line. Let me just get everything back down. Okay, in any case, so that's the preview. If you want to preview it, just... 
And it plays what it is. Okay. What you can do is you press preview once so it plays. And then every time you want to preview it again, just press your space bar. There you go. So now, what I've realized is the higher it goes, the better it goes, the, the deeper it goes, I guess. So if we take this one and put it at about like minus 12 decibels, decibels, which is between 4,000 megahertz and 20,000 megahertz. And we take this one and also let's put it a bit lower. Let's put it there. If we now play, hear that difference. It sounds more concentrated, if you want to say like that. Let me put that back up there. See, now it, it like deafens it a bit, but it doesn't take that rumble away from that V8, you know? You can still hear it. Let's take this one up just a little bit and bring this one down as well. Let's, let's try that, just a few decibels. So remember, we are trying to get to this sound. Let me just move this back. We're trying to get to this sound. So do you think this is close enough? It, it actually does sound very much closer than what I expected, I'm going to be honest. So let's take the beginning and move that down as well. It doesn't scream as much anymore, but I like it. I really do like it. If we take this one and just take it up a bit. See, the green line is like a curve I see. So it like follows everything. And I think that's where the pattern of all of this is going. It still has a nice grumble to it. I think I like this more than my previous one. <laughs> also doesn't sound too bad. It's because this isn't too... See, if we take it high and we make it more decibels, see? The megahertz, between 4,000 and 20,000 megahertz. Listen to how it sounds now, and I'm going to be honest, this is going to hurt your ears. <laughs> Holy shit. That is very loud. So yeah, we'll keep it where it was. <laughs> to keep that nice rumbling sound. I, I love it. If we take this one just a few up. one was also up there but yeah okay so I'm happy with how that sounds okay so now I'm gonna say apply see now I took that down because it, it's it's just making a bit softer you know taking those exact so between 4,000 mega oh, yeah megahertz and 20,000 megahertz it's just dimming it down a bit so it just makes it more equalized. I love this. So if we play it now. So that's going to be the top end. Okay. So now what we do is if you are happy with how it sounds, now we're going to say file. We say export audio, that one. So I'm going to save it on to my computer. Okay. So there's a .ogg. I don't want it to be saved there. It's in any case going to be saved there. So um, you do get different types of format files. See, you've got a lot. But just remember, just remember that if we quickly go here to... Just pop this up here. 
if we go to Roblox create, we're going to create our hub. And we first go to dashboard and then we go to developer items audio then you'll see there's only two types of formats that they allow that roblox allow it's or dot mp3 or a dot ogg file which mp3 in my opinion i haven't tried the difference between the two honestly i don't think there's a big difference i just think the dot ogg file has more um, advancements to it, I guess, if I can say like that. I think so. Don't quote me on it either. Um, so I'm going to upload. See, I already uploaded it, but I like how my previous one sounds. So I'm quickly just going to archive him. Uh, and then we say cancel. So there, I just did that. Okay. So now what we want to do is close that one down so you see it's gonna this is where it's gonna save it to the folder it's gonna save it it's gonna save it to C users and then music okay so you can browse but I'm just gonna leave it where it is because I know where it is so I changed it to OGG uh, files you can obviously make it mp3 it's already a uh, compressed or not compressed it's already a mp3 file it just saves it as an mp3 file again what you can get mp2 interesting mp3 so i'm taking it as ogg file and now you just you want this do you want this no you don't so now you just say export so it's gonna tell me that there is already one so i'm just gonna say replace it and that's that i think it's yep it's breaking itself great so let's just get wait for this to get done okay there you go so once it's done exporting now you can close that i would suggest you keep it open for if you want to make any changes so just minimize it now what we're going to do is we're going back to roblox no we're not sorry my fault uh, we need to go to the creator studios which we have open here. So now, once you're in here, you go say upload asset. I'm going to call this a 6.5 liter V8. And we want to upload that. So now you just go to wherever it's saved. So mine is literally just this PC, music, there it is. So I'm going to say open. And now I'm just going to say upload. And done it's uploaded is it hmm oh damn did it archive it <laughs> show archived ones yeah it actually did because it's the same name wait can we delete it from here no okay uh seeing as it's the same name this is just mine so this is my fault so i'm gonna say restore that one okay so now if I go back, it should, yeah. I believe this is that one. Length is two seconds. So you should see this. After it's done uploading the asset, it will be here. The name, description, the length created when, and yeah. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. And the top here in the um, address bar, you see these numbers, you need them. So what I do to make sure I get all of them, I just double click. Just double click on the name and it automatically takes that whole number. Control C to copy it. Now it closes one. So you want to now be back in studios. So now you try and find the A chassis tune where you go to the chassis itself. You want to go to plugins. You see there. The stock sound, the AC6C stock sound, you want to open that. Rev, that's your the sound the car is going to make. So you see here in properties, sound ID, you want to double click on that part, just the numbers, and control V to paste it. And then you press enter. Then it will, once it's done loaded, 
it will show you how long it is and it's going to say is loaded so yours will say looped i took looped off i don't know if it matters at all but hey to me i guess to me it does so now let's see let's hear how it sounds let me also just go to the boo sound and i only have wine on it in any case we in any case want to take the volume of it and put it on zero because we don't want to hear anything except the original right now so if we say play here if we now get into the car let's hear how that audio file sounds so you hear i'm walking so now it's loaded first so you can nicely hear that there is a bit of a rumble and now if you slowly start driving and just like that engine sound as easy as that okay man has it just you know and there's your 6.5 liter v8 sound now tell me in your opinion is it close or not so if we press off of here and we play this one again let's just take this back this is how the actual in car sounds in real life. Okay, obviously without the sounds. edit it you just go to the rev well you go into stock sound and there's a lot of things you can do here <laughs> a lot i just recommend you leave it because it is a bit of a hassle so now we want to get the wine so i already went and messed around with the wine if you want to say like that so you go into stock sounds so what I usually do is I take it out and I leave it here on the side, side of the screen, just making it a bit smaller. So I already messed with the pitch and the loudness of the supercharger. So it was on 1.3 for the pitch and then 0.9 for the loudness. And this is how it would sh uh, sounded so 1.3 for that one and then 0.9 for that one so this is how that sounds just have to first load into the game <laughs> okay and then car sound loads there we go hear it a bit but it's definitely not as loud as the actual charger itself so now if we go and put that on two put that on two and put that on two as well and we stop stop and we play again okay now hear the dramatic like increase in supercharger volume and sound. Just ready for the car. Okay. Car sound fixed. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.